Shalom Aleichem Rabbi Yisai. We are ready to go on the air. We are, we are on Torah Anytime and Kol HaLoshon at the same time, simultaneously. Kol HaLoshon, I have about 2115 or 20 shurim. On Torah Anytime, about 180. And sometimes we have to do it together when we don't want to have the time to do both separately. Now we're on video and audio. Uh, and um, we're in the new Sefer of the Sefer Torah, the third Sefer, called Vayikra, Mishneh Torah, uh, Torah's Kohanim, the law of the Kohanim. Uh, Vayikra is the first Sedrum uh, in the Sefer Vayikra. It's called Vayikra, and the second one is Sab. Those two are about Korbanos. The rest is about Yom Tovim and uh, forbidden foods and different in Yonim. But the first two sedras of the Sefer Vayikram is about Karbonus. Karbonus is a major, major thing in, in Yahadus. We have no Karbonus today, so we have davening, tefillah. Tefillah, as in the, it takes the place of Karbonus. To get close to God, korov, to get very close. You, you, you used to bring a korban. You did an Avera, that's one of the five types of korbanos. You bring a chatos. When you do an Avera, you bring a chatos for a sin, of, uh, your sin offering. That's always female, because you were weak when you did the sin. Females are physically weaker than males, therefore a, a chatos is always female. But the Torah starts out this week's Pasha of Ayikra with Ola. Ola is always Zohar, male, always. There's five types of carbonos for five different things. Uh, the Gentiles have translated the word sacrifices. It has zero emes to it. We don't call it sacrifices at all. We call it carbon, how to get close to Hashem. When you sacrifice $20 and want a million dollars, is that called a sacrifice? Or if, I, uh, if you have to work very, very hard for three or four years to make a panosa for the rest of your life, is that called a sacrifice? When you do... And Avera, you want to do tshuva, being a carbon. That you got saves your soul. Is that a sacrifice? You didn't sacrifice anything. You only gained. A karav is a neighbor. A karav is a relative. A shochen is a neighbor. A uh, karav is a, a relative. Carbon is to get close to Hashem. The Gentiles have translated certain Hebrew words, and we, those who are not familiar with Torah language, think that they have the right translation. Carbon is not a sacrifice. Carbon means to get reestablished closeness. Ten Commandments, Ten Commandments doesn't exist in that literature at all, ever, anywhere, not even once. Never. It's called the Seres Adibros, the Ten Statements. There's no, I don't say Ten Commandments because there's only nine. Seven negatives and two positives. And one is a statement. Uh, but it's not worded as a negative or a positive. So they're not, we don't call them commandments, we call them Seres Adibros. So it's with everything. We have to learn the uh, Torah from its original source. Now we're getting into Karbonos. Karbonos, we, there is no Karbonos today, so for the last 2,000 years, we, your davening is, is equal to Karbonos. All the Karbonos are in five categories. There cannot be any Karbon outside of these five categories. These five categories have altogether 72 different Karbonos. Ola, carbon Ola, to elevate yourself if you didn't do a mitzvah. If you're a high class person and you grieved that you didn't do a mitzvah, how many times, how often, that's a side thing. You didn't do a mitzvah, shaking a lula, putting on filling. And now talking about sins. You didn't do an, a, a mitzvah, you mavatal a mitzvah, I say, certain types of mitzvahs, I say, you bring a carbon Ola to re elevate yourself. Also, if you had here hurim rawing bad thoughts, against Hashem, against the Torah, again, about our rayos, you bring a carbon olo. That's only a private man's olo. Then there's a olas hatzibor. That's something totally different. Every morning the olas hatzibor is a carbon shacharis, and a carbon mincha. It's brought every day, so we call it tomid. Carbon tomid in the morning, carbon shacharis. Carbon tomid in the afternoon, after it's called carbon mincha. It's an olo. That's a carbon seabor. We're, we're starting out here, in the beginning of Vayikra, about a carbon olas yochid. I bring a carbon because I didn't do a mitzvah, I had bad thoughts. So there is 25 types of ola. Chatos, the sin offering, is always female. 
There are 18 types of chatos, different sins. Asham, I did something against Hegdish, against the Mizbeach, the base of Migdash, against something holy. I damaged property of blood that's holy. I did something against the Torah, against the Karbonos. After being an Asham, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. It's a sin offering against Tachim. Chatos is against. <laughs> You're Mechal Shabbos, that's a Chatos. So, and you don't bring Chatos for everything, only for 36 Krisos, 30 things you get Kores for. Eating Chazo, you don't get Kores for. And that's a La, but it's not a Kores. So, there's 36 of the 365 negatives is Kores. For them, you bring a Chor Mechatos. But we're not talking about that right now, we're talking about Ola. So, the first of the five is Ola, 25 types of Ola. Uh, chat, that's a male. Uh, females are all chatos. There's 18 types of chatos. Then there's asham. You did something against Hegedish. Six types of, of asham. Then there's shlomim. You want to remake peace with Hashem. After, sometimes after a chatos, you bring an olo. You fix the sin and then you elevate yourself. Then you reconnect. Shlomimus with Hashem. There's 10 types of shlomim. And then there's mincha. That's the only one of the five that's not an animal is flour and oil. There's 13 types of mincha. Together you have 72 types of karbonos. They fall in five categories. The most complicated of all is called mincha. There's a whole mesecta called menachas. There's five types of mincha. Okay, we're not going to discuss that. Now, the Sefer by Yikra sometimes calls a person Adam, a man. Uh, that means a Yisrael. Sometimes he calls the, the person who brings the carbon Nefesh. Nefesh. He lived, his Nefesh Habahami prompted him. He's a physical person, very physical Nefesh. He's a Chote. He's usually, or an Ani, poor in money and poor in mitzvahs. Like the word Nefesh. 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 Either physically poor or spiritually poor. Then sometimes the person is called Enosh. He's guilty. He's high even Onesh. Sometimes he's called a Geber, a powerful man. He's clean of sin. He was Gover over himself. He was overcome. He came his drives. Sometimes he's called Ish, a Tzadik. So there's five types of Carbonos. There's five types of human, described here, you different human beings. Now the whole Sefer by Yikra was divided in two parts. The first part, one, two, three, four, five, six, set for six, and then there's this, the second four. The first six is by Yikra, Tzav, Shemini, Tazria, Mitzorah, Achimo, six. That's the first set, the first six of Ayikra. Then the, the last four of Ayikra is Kedoshim, Emor, Bahar, Bechukosai. The first six, they follow the Pusik, Batem, Tiyu, Mamaleches, Kohanim. Be to me a nation of priests. The second part of the Sefer, the four set is Kedoshim, Emor, Bahar, Bechukosai, follows the second part of the Pusik. The Goy Kadosh. The first part is. Hold yourself back from Averis. And the second one, be holy, do only mitzvahs. Abatem Tiyah Mamleches Kohanim, that's the first part of the Sefer, the Yikra. The Goy Kadosh, the same Pazik, is a holy nation. Um, Karbanos means to come close. To sacrifice would be Mevater, give up something. Ibu, destroy something. No, it's, that's not uh, what we call in Carbonos. So you don't seem to give up anything. You bring a little carbon, God cleans your whole record. Wouldn't that like to, wouldn't that, let's say you have a terrible criminal record and you can do something that wipes out the record, not even record it anymore. You know Yom Kippur's like that, 24 hours a year. You can wipe out the record if you do tshuva, Kimura. There's no record ever will be, you'll never be reminded of it. You do tshuva, bring an animal, that's called sacrifice? You're only getting in reward. All carbonos come in four levels. Either kachim kalim, light, light level, hallowed things, or kachim kadoshim, more extreme holiness, kachim rishus, 
something I could bring if I want to, not obligated. Kotshi Chayevus, or I have to bring it. This is very complicated. I have a list here, the whole two sedras of Meyikrom uh, and Sam. Over the years, I wrote about 60 different categories, you just heard four of them, of all these things that fall into Korbanos. If you don't study Korbanos carefully, it's a... For the rest of your life, you'll be bored by it. You wish it's over. You don't understand the only way to get close to Hashem is only through Korbanos, or today through davening. Therefore, you have to be very careful with every word you say in davening. It's like you have to be careful, careful with the carbon. It shouldn't have a mum. 60 or 70 different things could go wrong with an animal. A mum. And, and has to be sprinkled the blood in this direction and this way. Just like davening, you mispronounce a word, the whole thing is gone. Do you say in davening, Eloha or Eloha? Hmm? Or how many syllables are there in a word? Remember I asked a few weeks ago, if anybody listening to me, or le- hearing me, could find in davening for me the eight words that have six syllables. If you dab with kavona, you think you dab with kavona? Then why don't you pick out those eight words in davening that have six syllables? Most have. 90% of the Torah is less than five. 10%, 10% is five. 5% is six. 1% is seven. There's one word, one word that has seven syllables in Shemos about the frogs about the pots, where the frogs went into the pots. That is a seven-syllable word. But six-syllable, in davening, we have about six or eight words that are six syllables. One of them is the first word of one of the brachas of Shemona Esra. Most of them, a lot of them are five. Four is one, well, you have to have, yeah, you can have one syllable, but, come. Anyhow, if you're davening with carbono, it's like carbonos, you have to, every single thing, when you bring a carbon, there's 16 things you have to do. You either put your, you do smicha, you lean on it, then you slaughter it, and then you collect the blood, then you sprinkle it, then you put them, cut the meat up, strip, strip it, and cut the meat, and, and put it on his bath and burn it, whatever. There's six, so in davening too, there's many preparations for davening. The davening is very important. If you want to be an expert, it means more than 99% of the other people, in carbonos, you'll never do it from the Chumash. You have to have an expert who spent his life working on this subject. Here's a book. Here's how you become an expert. You know what it's called? Illustrated Guide and Student's Workbook to Carbonos and Manachos. From Seder of Ayikra and Saab, the first two. Torah Masora publication, 15 years ago. I'm sure it's updated. Who is this great genius, great person, I spoke to him, Rabbi Sinai Melowicki. I wrote some things, I thought he could, you know, suggestions. Everything is broken down here, male and female, public carbon, super carbon, yochid, and do you skin it, do you not skin it, do you eat from it, do you not eat from it. Look at this, this is a guidebook, how do you kill an oaf, a bird, and, and then there's questions, true and false at the end, to see if you know your stuff. There's carbonous questions on menachos. Menachos is complicated. Carbonical flour and oil, but they don't tell you there's hot water in it. Otherwise, it always tells you, be careful, it doesn't become a chomets. Oil and flour never becomes chomets. So there's water in it. Uh, most people, including me, before I learned this, knew nothing about carbonos. <sighs> okay. Let us now start by Yikram. A wise man once, who was very, I know him, uh, very gifted in words, he, whenever he writes stuff, he uses psycholinguistics. Play on words is interesting, but it's true. From Boratius and Shemos until now, we see the creation of the world from the subatomic atoms till God made light and energy and then... The, the, the grass, and then the slightly the smallest insects, and then fish, and then birds, then animals, then man. So he calls it like this. The Bria went from animal cells to animated souls. That's us. From Adam to Adam. Atom, A-T-O-M. From Adam to Adam. 
from nefesh to neshama. If you have a neshama, the soul part of you, then you can connect with God with karbonos over davening. When you talk to God, you are directly for second person singular. Baruch Ato Hashem. You bow down, your feet are together. You can't move like the Mizbech doesn't move. And by the way, all carbonos are brought on the right side of the Mizbech. Soft phone, the north side, which is the right. You know why it's often hidden? Because if you did a chet and you bring a chatos, they'll never know. Because on the right side, Sophon, which means hidden, which is north. If you bring an Ola, they also would know if it's an Ola or a Chatos or a Shlomim or anything because you bring the Ola there for not doing a Mitzvah, bring a Chatos over there for doing an Aveira. So Hashem doesn't want to embarrass you. So it's on the right side of the Mdeach, north. It's called Sophon, to hide the fact no one should know if he's did an Aveira or not. Maybe bring a Karban Ola. Maybe Shlomim. Maybe Chatos. Let us look at the Pasha now. Vikra el Moshe. He called to Moshe. Wouldn't you expect to say Vikra Shem Moshe? Dafka didn't write it like that. You know why? Because Apikarsim will say Hashem called Moshe, inspired him so much, so Moshe was became such a divinely inspired man. He made up the Torah. That's why it says not like that. By Yikrael, Moshe called Moshe. He said to him, I'm going to tell you the Torah. You don't make up any Torah. By Yikrael, Moshe, by Yedabar, Hashem, love. After he called him. By Yikrael, come here. I want to tell you the Torah. Not that God spoke to him, and therefore he became inspired and made up the Mosaic law. Chas Rishon. By Yikrael, Moshe, God called to Moshe and told him. By Yedabar, Hashem, love. God spoke to him. But oh, Moed. May Ohel Mo from the tent of meeting Lamar, he told him what to be in the Torah. Moshe made up zero. We don't believe in the Mosaic law. It's divine law. But it's not 100% wrong because Mosaic law could mean Toshiba Peh, Allah Moshe Messinai. Moshe explained to us what's not written over here. Moshe, 90% of the Torah is Toshiba Peh, Allah Moshe Messinai. Of course. What's in the Chumash is the Mashahu. Five books, we got 5,000 pages of Gemara. Five safes, five for them only. The Torah, the Chumash, is the three by five cards, a few notes. Every word, every passing is multi layered here. What's the real Torah is Torah Shabbat Peh, the Art of Law. Uh, ooh, we got to turn that light on. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this light on. All right, that happens sometimes. All right, let's go back to this. Uh, you know that um, when we see in the Torah, Kasiv and Kari is written this way, we write, but we pronounce it the other way. Why don't we pronounce it the way it's written? Because Toshim Iksav is not the final s statement, the final thing. How the Chachamim interpreted, how Moshe told the Chachamim, that's why you write it one way, but you read it another way. That's Iker. The Iker is Toshim al Ah, Toshim Iksav is not Iker. You know what it's like? Oil and water, you shake them together and let it sit. The water's on the bottom and the oil's on top. Always. Oil is Toshabal Peh. That's the what, how we live, what we see on top. That's how we live our life. But it collapses without the basis. There's Toshabik Sab is the basis. But how you actually do it is the way the oil. That's the Toshabal Peh. It says in the Torah, you, know, you should put the tefillin al yodecho. No Jew ever did that. It says, between your eyes. No one you ever did that. The Torah Shabbat Peh, the millions of t concepts of Torah Shabbat Peh. Allah HaMosh Misinah, which is not even hinted to in the Torah. It's Allah HaMosh Misinah. We trust Moshe Rabbeinu, one of the 13 Ikarim. We trust Moshe, told us the truth. And he certainly did, because it lasted 3,300 years, and no one ever wrote a second version of the Torah. One letter, wrong or missing, whole Torah is no good. you got to fix it. We tolerate zero mistakes because it's divine law of Hashem. So, um, Toshim al Peh is all the Rashi's and all the Madrashim and all these notes. That's the Ikka, but you can't stand without the basis of water, which is Mayim's Torah. And, then, and on that 
the oil, the oil is Torah Shabbat Peh, that is uh, why the oil always goes to the top. It is um, how it says it, we may do opposite of the way it says, but mean, the way it says it is a very good, important thing, but that's not the way you practice it. Let's take a look. My Yikra has a small olive. Why? Olive Zi'ira, because Moshe didn't want to write it. Because means God called to him all the time. Well, she was on the he didn't want people to know that he's always in a state of readiness. Always in a state of readiness. That's why he had to depart from his wife after Matan Torah. Uh, so Moshe said, I don't want to write the word, let me write it by Yokar. He happened to come to me sometimes. Hashem said, no, it's my Torah, you write an olive. He says, can I write a small olive? He says, okay. So we have a small olive, and we have throughout the Torah here, somewhere, 22 letters of olive base, 22 letters somewhere are written small, zero, and 22 times is written big, uh, like the first Bays and Moratius. And we have throughout the Torah and Tanakh, 22 letters of the al Bays written jumbo size and written mini size. And there's reasons for that. But Yikra El Moshe, he called to Moshe, Midabra, Hashem, may love, and God spoke to him. He called to him, then he informed him all the details. The Ohel Moed, Lamer, from the Ohel Moed, saying, Dabel Bnei Yisrael, speak to the Bnei Yisrael. Uh, let me explain to them. Odom, a man, uh, a Jew, um, even a Ger, a uh, Yisrael, even a Goy. Says the Chuzkuni, even a Goy, Odom, any human being, Ki Yaakov Mikem, who wants to offer from you Korban Hashem, a Korban a second, a, a, a Korban to Hashem, Min Habahemo, from the Behemoths. The big animals. Minah Bokar from the herd. Minah Son from the flock. Sheep and goats. Tafiru as Korban can bring their Korban. Now we start out with the first of the five categories. Olo. And Olo is divided in Olo Sat Sibur and Olo Sayochid. Sibur comes later. Different set, not even this fashion. We're talking about the Olo Sayochid. In Olo Korbanov, his Olo is his thing. Olo means to go up. Uh, and Olo. Ola, by the way, is burned totally up. It's carbon, totally burnt up. Burnt offering. Ola is, totally goes up. It elevates you, but it's totally burnt up. Uh, other carbons are not totally burnt up. Im Ola, carbonov, and Ola is his carbon. Min from the large animals. Zocher has to be a male. Tomim, perfect, without any blemish. Yakri, venu, you bring it. El Pesach, Olamoy, to the doorway of the Olamoy, because outside the Olamoy was the Mizbeach, and the Choshes, we brought our call, all the Karbonos. The inside Mizbeach, the golden Mizbeach, never, ever, ever, ever was any carbon put on there. Only every morning, the coin Godom put a little Ketores incense here, and on Caddy Corner, two, the, two of the four corners, that's it. And Yom Kippur, a few drops of blood, that's it. Never, and no meat was ever put there. Um, so you're talking about the main Mizbeach, outside the, Mizbeach, the building, it was in the Azara called the Mizbech Hanachoshes or Mizbech Hachitzon or it's called a Mizbech Ola, even though all Korbanos are put on it. But we start out with the Ola, so it's called Korban Mizbech Ola. El Pesach Ola Mo Yakriv Oso Ola Ritzono. You have to do it free willingly. No one can force you. The Fnei Hashem before God. Mesomach Yodo Al Rosha Ola. You lean your hand, both your hands, even though it says Yodo, it means, means both. <coughs> with the right hand over the left hand. All, both of your hands, on top of the animal's head with all your might. Because remember, you're killing this animal. He represents you. You lived for a moment on a low level like an animal. You followed your instinct. You were lazy. You didn't do a mitzvah. To a tzaddik, that's an abeira. To a low person, not doing a mitzvah is not an abeira. To him, doing a chet, a sin is an abeira. To a high class person, not doing a mitzvah is an abeira. You know, we have in the Torah, uh, murder. You know, you can murder somebody without murdering him. Lush and heart is murder, character assassination. You can open up a business and take away his panosa and kill him. He'll be so frustrated he may commit suicide. Mur murder is a many levels, depends what kind of person you are. If you're a street person, murder means killing somebody. If you're a high class person, you're saying one word, Lush and heart. Um, so, um, so Machiado also he puts sleeves in his hand, a rosh on the top of the head of the Ola, Venir Salon, he's forgiven. The Chaper love to atone for him. Beshochad Esa, and you slaughter him. Beshochad Es, Ben Bokar, Lefne Hashem, you slaughter this bull before Hashem, Vikriv, 
the day Aaron Hakana was done, they have received the blood from the place of the incision, and the Zargon they sprinkle it, they put it into a silver vessel that had dots on uh, holes in it, and they sprinkle it in the corners of the Mizbea, because you're supposed to sprinkle away blood red. Gosh, you're supposed to uh, uh, keep away from yourself. The animal drives, that's why you sprinkle it. You want to keep away from yourself. Animal drives, that's the blood you sprinkle away from yourself. The Zarku, that's how dumb. Allah is bech on the bech all around. Asher Pesach Olamoy, that's on the outside of the Olamoy. The Hifshi, then you strip. Aaron strips the animal, skins it. As a Olav Initach, also that's okay, and cuts it up to its pieces. Now, here, if you are tuned in to me and to Lushan Akodesh, you'll have a very big problem. We said it's a Zohar, right? So why you say Linusocheho? Female. Should say Linusochov. I don't know the answer to that. But Osad, not Nostra Ben Aaron, and the sons of Ankiv, Akohain, Eshalo Aitzim, they have to put fire on the wood. But Archo Aitzim, and then they put at least two logs on this. This Bayah, Alho Aish, Archo Ben Aaron, Akohain, and Osochim, and they arrange these cut up pieces, sections of the animal. Esa Rosh, the head. Esa Pode, the fat. Esa Aitzim in the wood. Ashiyal or Aish, that's on the fire. Ashiyal or Mizbeach, that's on the Mizbeach. Vikirbo and its intestines. Vilkrov and its legs. Yuchat's mind, wash it in water, take the blood off. Vihikti, our coin is to call out Mizbeach. Then it all vaporizes on the Mizbeach. Ola, Aish, it's a carbon Ola. Elevating our carbon. Reach, Nechor, Hashem. Very smells very good to Hashem. Hashem has to smell this. Says the Gaon, Rabbi Shamshwal Hirsch. He smells. Your intentions. If you bring a carbon olo or chatos or anything and you just go through the motions, the people should think you're a from man. He knows your intentions. He smells the, the, the vaporized meat. means he can smell your intentions. If you're sincere or not, we are just putting on a religious bluff. Some people don't even know they're bluffing their whole life. They dab in and they do through the motions. Meanwhile, they're not honest. It's all a show. They don't even know it's a show because they're not tuned in enough to themselves to know it's a show. They're not even intellectually honest. You have to be sure you don't live a two-faced life. You dab in and you boom, you say, okay. Meanwhile, you conduct your life in a non-total way. Mm, so if it's from the you're not so wealthy to find, to find a bull, or a, so you find a sheep and goat. So carbono mina kvosim mina kasovim from the sheep. O mina iza from the goats. La ola for carbono la zochar male tom imperfect with no blemishes. Yaki venom shochados and you slaughter it. Al yerech on the on the right hand side. Soft on is north, which happened to be the right hand side. If you look at the pictures, how it works. Uh, so you want to see the pictures? Let's see, show him the pictures of the Mizbeach here. Uh, here is, where's the picture of Mizbeach? Yeah, here's the Mizbeach pictures. And you go where the ramp is. The ramp is on the uh, south side. You go up here, and the carbon is over there. You go up here, the carbon is over there. The ramp, the kemesh, is always the opposite side, where you slept, slaughtered the animal. You don't slaughter any animals on top, ever. You slaughter on the on this side. You bring it around to the ramp and walk up. The ramp is the south side. The, 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 your slaughter is on the ground on the on the north side. You go up the ramp and you go around the bear. Come down the other side of the ramp. The ramp is very wide. You go up one side. You go around the bear counterclockwise. Come down the other side. Remember I told you the other day that every single thing in Yiddishkeit that is ruchnius is always counterclockwise. The collar goes around the chasen counterclockwise. The chasen makes a coffers in the shul. Counterclockwise. He turns his back to the Oron because he's holding a safe door, right? So he doesn't have to be ashamed. He goes to the right, end of the room, make a left, 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 left. The whole thing is left counterclockwise. It's filling for Ashkenazim is counterclockwise. All the nine, now it's eight planets go around the sun counterclockwise. And the Chasna, every dance is always counterclockwise. Ever wonder why? Everything in Ruchnis is um, counterclockwise. You ever know Shabbos morning when you come to shul after Baruch after Shabbos? So you say, I oh, know, in, in, in Musaf, 
in Musaf, in the first bracha after Musaf, the Kanto Shabbos, Seviso Peru Sheho. Every word is all based backwards. Have you wondered why the Kanto Shabbos or Seviso Kabbos Hell? Why is it backwards? Why do you go counterclockwise? The clocks go clockwise. Everything in Richnius is counterclockwise, everything in Gashmis is clockwise. When the Hashem describes the physical boundaries of Eretz Yisrael, it's clockwise. They start from the bottom of the Dead, dead Sea, called, called uh, Nachal Zered, goes this way, up the Mediterranean, over the top, down the Yardling. Clockwise. That's the physical boundaries of Eretz Yisrael. When you shake a lunar, you go this way, that way, that way, that way, that way. It's clockwise, physical. You're holding the four species of uh, vegetation. Clockwise. That's a physical control of nature. If you're a Torah Jew, you control the planet. And then and the borders are very well. But when it comes to Ruch and these things, it's counterclockwise. That's a whole discussion by itself. If you want me to explain to you, you've got to call me on my cell phone here. Can't do that. It takes too long. 845-826-4789. Let's finish up the Shani. The Fnei Hashem, one you, you sacrifice on the, on the floor of the north side, and then you bring it around the, to the Kevish on the south side, and you bring it up to the Mizveh, not you, the Karbam, the Kohen, uh, the Fnei Hashem, the Zorka, the Aaron, the Kohen, the Domo, and he sprinkles it, the blood, of the sons of Aaron, I'm a Be'er Slavim, I need to go to the Sohom, you cut it up in parts, there's a Rosho, his head, there's Pidro, the inside, Orach, Akoin, Osam, Alwaitzim, and your coin arranges them on the wood. Asher Alwaitz, that's on the fire, Asher Alwaitz, that's on the fire, that's on the fire. The hacker of the intestines, the Akraim, and the internal, the legs, Yerchatz, the mind, wash in water, the Hikr of Akoin, the coal, and he vaporizes the whole thing. The Hiktir, the Hikriv, he brings it close. He's Makrivit, he brings it close. The Hiktir, it vaporizes it. You'll never find the word Sreif or burning. Sreif, what you do outside the camp for things that are puzzle, no good, that you want to get rid of. Things that are, you want, that is not puzzle, it's always in vaporized. Kept there is a, a, a vapor. You know why? Vapor is a smell, is a something refined as opposed to a flame. You don't want your steak burnt in flame, you want it underneath, the little flame underneath, but the thing shouldn't be inflamed, shouldn't be totally burnt off. Uh, the, you want to vaporize it because that represents the onon. It makes a cloud, and the malachim go up in the cloud. Your intentions in that karma go up to Hashem. He smells it, means he reads your mind. He knows what your kavana was, Hashem Shemaim or not. You want to learn about kavanos? Look at Shamsval here, pages and pages for thinking people. The deepest psychology of the subconscious mind, how it reconnects to God by kavanos only. It's the holiest part of the Torah. That's why little children used to be taught by Yuka first in operations. Originally, hundreds and millennia till recent, I don't know, maybe less, hundred years, they now we teach operations first. They taught them carbonos first. A pure child that never did an abeyer, that's the purest thing is carbonos. That's why the pure child, you can purify his neshama by learning about carbonos. Vakera vakrayim, yuchas mamayim, wash in water. The hikriv hakoyin sakol and and the, and the coin brings it all close. And the uh, one of his bear, the hikdir and vaporizes it. Hamis bechah olahu. It's a carbon ola. Ishe ishe. A fire offering. Reach in the chokh of a pleasant smell. Lashem. We're up to shame. Now, by the way, this Shabbos we take out three sefer totes. You know that. One for Shabbos. One for Rosh Chodesh Nisan. And one for Pasha Zachodesh. Three. How many times a year we take our three Sifat Torahs? Shabbos, Parshas, Chodesh doesn't have to come out. I mean, it doesn't have to be Rosh Chodesh, because it would be two Sifat Torahs, that's for sure. But Rosh Chodesh doesn't have to be Shabbos, but this year it is. Parshas Shekolam could be three, but this year it wasn't. Shabbos Hanukkah, Shabbos Hanukkah and Rosh Chodesh Teves could be three. Rosh Chodesh could be Shabbos. But one of the, there's four times a year you could take out three Sifat Torahs. Once you must. You know what day that is? You must take out three. Simchas Torah, Chosen Torah, Chosen Brachos, and then you have to lay uh, the Shmini um, Atzeres um, Maftim. So you must take out three Sifrei Torahs on Simchas Torah. Now you take out fifty Sifrei Torahs. We're talking about taking out to read in them. Is three Sifrei Torahs on? You must one 
of the four possibilities, Simcha is a Simcha Torah, but it could be Pashish, Shabbat Pashish Kolum, Pashish Shabbat Kodesh, and Shabbat Hanukkah. So last week we had four things, this week we had three things, and by the way, last Friday was Equinox, you know that? Sunset and sunrise in New York was 7.05, Equinox, day and night was equal. Therefore, the Shaw Zamanios was exactly 60 minutes. In the middle of the summer, the Shaw Zamanios is 75 minutes. And in the winter, the Shaw Zamanios is 15 minutes less, 45 minutes. So what does it mean? That means if you have to wait 42 minutes or after Shabbos or 72 minutes, the 42 in the winter is 30. And the 42 in the summer is 60. And the 72 in the, in, in the winter is 60. And the, and in the summer, it's 72, it's 82, 90. And the 90 is 120. So, Shaw's Manios means every day of the year, there's 12 hours of day, night, light, and 12 hours of um, day. Hours. Shaw's Manios doesn't mean 60 minute hours, could mean, 40, could mean 45 minute hours or 75 minute hours. Last Friday was balance. My daughters were born on the equinox, mm -hmm. September 22nd, some years ago, many years ago. And they are very balanced people. Never too happy, never too sad. That's called a balanced person. Equinox means, the Chazal tells us you're a balanced person. It says if you're born under the red planet, Ma'adim, which is Mars, you have tendencies for blood, so you should make the person a Moel or a Shochet. Because it does affect when you're born how your nature will be. This is not nonsense. This is built in, you're under your influence by the, by the constellations. However, Yisrael's Lamala men hamazel. We can change our fate, and the guy cannot. Yisrael's Lamala is not under the effect. If you don't do anything, you're under the effect of the mazolos. But if you do something, you can change your mazel completely from bad to good. What is that? Tshuva, tefil, tzedakah. Mavirin is roa gazera. Takes away any bad decree that you were born under. Tshuva, tefil, and tzedakah. Will change your mazel. You saw as the malam and the not subject to the mazel. You can have a be born under a very bad mazel and change it. That's why I wish people mazel tov. You should have a good fate. Okay, our voice side, we're finished. And um, next week we'll meet again. Mir Hashem. Well, for Kol Hashem, we'll meet tomorrow morning. Again, every morning, every every day on Kol Hashem, we have twenty one hundred and twenty shiurim on Torah and time. I don't know, one hundred eighty or something. So, if you want more of the pasha, tune into Kol Hashem. Every single day for the last six years I'm doing it. Zagazon.